And let's say if they have algae on their roof, I'm gonna knock on their door and I'm gonna say, hey, you know, my name's Jay with Miller Storm. Hey, I know you guys don't like those algae streaks on the right side of your house. I mean, I know you guys take pride in your house. I see your landscaping, I see everything else, and I'm sure you guys don't like those algae streaks. So it's really important that when they go, huh, what, or they have some curiosity that you bring them outside of the door and show them what you're talking about. Cause some people are like, what, algae streaks, what is that, right? Hey, let me show you it's on the right side of your house. Once you show that to them, I know that this roof's about eight to 10 years old. They're like, how did you know? Because the new shingles don't do that. And it takes about seven to 10 years for those algae streaks to occur on a roof. I mean, that's just the average. It could happen sooner. It can happen later, but usually that's a good average. And seven to 10 years, especially in DFW or the Texas market where we get hit with so much hail and wind, chances are it's been through a lot of storms and that chances are it might have some damage that can actually use that to restore the home, restore the roof with their insurance company, but who knows, right? But it is a way that you get the inspection 